the topic which we are going to discuss in today's video is biometrics it's a, a very common word used nowadays and most of them knows the meaning of this word but in this uh, chapter or in this video you will be coming to know so many interesting things which you were not knowing till now so what is biometrics now biometrics generally involves the identification of human based on their characteristics or behavior this human body characteristics include fingerprints eyes retinas and iris voice patterns facial patterns signature and hand measurements with the increased use of technology the use of biometrics in uh, day to day life has been increased a lot now access rights password protection encryption etc are the characteristics of biometrics now the easiest example of usage of biometrics which you all may be using is the fingerprint lock in your smartphone okay or say face lock in your smartphone now a biometric system generally is made up of five components first component is a sensor that is used to collect the data for example in our mobile phone at the back side most of the time back side right now in the power button also it is coming on which when you press your finger okay it will collect the data so that is known as a sensor then a set of signal processing algorithms that performs quality control activities and develop the biometric pattern now when you put your fingerprint after scanning your fingerprint with this sensor next thing is to process the uh, signal algorithms and to develop a biometric pattern for that particular uh, finger right so that is the next uh, thing third thing is data storage that keeps information to compare the new biometrics pattern with so once you have given the options that my smartphone should start with so and so fingerprints okay so that fingerprints pattern is to be stored in your smartphone so whenever you put the same fingerprint or whenever you put another fingerprint it is able to compare with the fingerprints which are stored in the phone so that is a known as storage data storage then for comparing this thing a matching algorithm that does the actual comparison so fourth thing is that uh, again algorithm process is to be done to compare with the authentication the new finger uh, uh, the finger which is put there and the already existing biometrics pattern stored in your smartphone and last thing is a decision process either automated or human assisted that uses the results from the matching algorithm to make decision now we discuss about the fingerprint recognition you may have seen this thing right in our school also for uh, marking our attendance this fingerprint recognition device is used now this is very useful and uh, in many of the places especially in government uh, uh, organizations government uh, when a person gets government job he will it's not sure that he will be loyal and do the job he may mark his presence even if he is absent right or suppose if you la reach late to the school and if you mark your presence in the correct time then that all nonsense things could be stopped by biometric pattern because it will also record the exact date and time when you put your finger then we will 
ओके देन फिंगरप्रिंट रिकग्नजेशन उ फिंगरप्रिंट हेज बीन यूज एज एन ऑल्टरनेट टू साइन फॉर मोर देन ए सेंचुरी generally a person who does not know to write angutha chap when he or she needs to sign a legal documents puts her or his thumb on the ink pad and creates its impression on the document it is an authenticate mode of identifying a person because all the people's fingerprint will be different In olden days, also you all know when people were not knowing how to sign. That time, they used to just take the thumb impression, especially whenever any uh, monetary transaction was to be done or any deed is to be done. Instead of signing, this thing was to be used. The modern fingerprint recognition mechanism uses the impressions made by the unique, minute ridge formations or patterns found on the fingerprints. It has been observed by the researchers that though two fingerprint patterns are similar neither do uh do not have the identical individual ridge characteristic means two fingerprints may look uh, same but their this thing individual ridge characteristics will always be different also the pattern one formed do not get destroyed or distorted except under any unusual circumstances like accident so your fingerprint from the time of your birth till you expire the fingerprint will remain the same do not change at all now list of some government forensic and commercial applications of fingerprint recognition first is government in government thing where is the fingerprint uh, used identification cards like aadhar card ration card bpl card etc then driver's license welfare disbursement and in passport and in so many things and uh, every day technology is going on increasing and uh, we are moving towards more and more uh, digitalized world so uh, this thing is uh, used in so many things then forensic it is used for criminal investigation in so many of the movies and in cid serial and crime patrol and so many serials you may be seeing that whenever any crime is been taken place first thing they do is they collect the fingerprint samples then uh corpse identification then criminal record keeping now whenever any criminal is caught okay his fingerprint patterns are been stored in the database so whenever any other crime is committed the first thing with the police department does is it compares the fingerprint on the crime spot with the existing fingerprints of the criminals same way like criminal the biggest criminals are terrorist so it is also used for terrorist identification now we have a look at a commercial use of this thing then computer network logon electric data security smart cards like uh, atm cards and debit cards facility access control smartphone here it is given uh, personal digital assistant that is a hopeless thing useless thing which uh, we never use we use smartphone and uh, distance learning etc fine now we come to the next uh, biometrics and uh, that is iris recognition how can a person be identified just by his iris or eye that we are going to learn right now so the iris what is the iris first we try to understand that thing what is the iris then iris is a muscle 
within the eye that regulates the size of the pupil and controls the amount of light entering the eye. See this uh, thing, uh, here the person's size is of blue color, right? So these are the small muscles with which this science students can understand it very well. So which is helpful in uh, changing the size of pupil of the eye. Now if you want to ch uh, check your eyes, how the pupil gets bigger and smaller, then you can stand against the mirror and uh, look at your eye and then put on the torch of your smartphone and put the light in your eyes, then at once the size will change. Now we discuss more about iris, it is a colored portion of the eye, here you can see blue color, right? Iris is the colored portion of the eye with uh, coloring based on the amount of melatonin pigment within the muscle. Some of them may be having black eyes, some of them may be having brown eyes, some of them foreigners especially have bluish eyes. So this all depends on the melatonin pigment within the muscle. Now some facts worth knowing about iris. The iris does not change during the person's lifetime. The characteristics of iris do not change even after surgeries. For example, if you have performed the surgery of uh, LASIKs or laser operation to remove your number, then to the characteristics will not change. Now, it is very surprising to know that there are 266 unique characteristics. The iris recognizes in technology used in the market uses up to 173 characteristics from the 266 characteristics. The primary visible characteristics of the iris is the tabular meshwork. This is the tissue which gives the appearance of dividing the iris radially. Some, may, uh, some of the major applications of iris recognition technology are smart attendance system, cell phone based on authentication, database access on computer login, unique identification of a person, for example, Aadhaar card, authenticated access to a building and building or homes, access to bank accounts at cash machine, automated international border crossing, it is the substitute of password, aviation security and uh, biometrics uh, key uh, crypto, uh, cryptography. So these are some of the applications where this thing is already in use or you may be using it in the near future, uh, near future. Now the last thing is voice recognition. Voice or speech recognition. Voice or speech recognition is a biometric technique that uses an individual's voice as input to control the activity that can be done by him or her. It relies on the features influenced by both the biological structure of individual vocal tract and the behavior characteristics of the individual. For example, Amitabh Bachchan's voice will be different than the voice of uh, Aishwarya Rai. So that is known as the biological structure. While the accent of speaking okay, is known as the behavior characteristic. For example, uh, say Bengali people may be talking in different style while Karelian people or the people coming from Tamil Nadu will be speaking in a different type. So that all are the behavior characteristics. So this thing relies on both the features to identify a person's voice. It uses to search information through Google, OK Google used by bank to verify the identity of the caller while making telephonic transactions. 
used for doing call from mobile by speaking the name of the person. In forensic science, it's used to determine the truthness of responses a witness gives as a part of investigation. Now see, I have stopped uh, explaining all the things in detail because uh, I am observing that in the beginning, the students were watching the video and try to understand uh, whatever I am teach, what I was teaching. But uh, nowadays, I am observing that hardly anybody is uh, watching my complete video. All wants to get the portion completed fast, and some of them are at least bother in studying. So I try to make the video of uh, minimum size. Now in forensics, it's uh, used to identify the voice of a person. Call staring. What is that thing? It is routing of regular callers to appropriate departments or person based on their voice match. Automated identification of caller. It is used in customer service segment to identify the caller. Removing interactive voice response IVR menus that is for so and so press 1, so and so press 2, right, to talk to the customer ex executive press 9, that all things. It is an uh, improvisation in IVR. This technique removes the push button menus and replaces it with uh, direct call steering. Now, how does voice recognition system work? Like other biometrics, the first thing is you need to train the system. In the training period, the voice sample is first converted from analog format to digital format. The feature of individual's voice are extracted and then stored as a pattern for further use. So, computer does all this work that first it takes the voice sample and thereafter it exerts the thing, uh, individual's voice and then store it in different patterns for the reuse. The environmental factors like sound in the surrounding, problems in recording devices, etc. do play a role in efficient working of the system. Next topic which we are going to do in the next video will be GPS global positioning system. So right now we complete this video over here. Thank you.